outrage in Quito as protesters and police face off on Ecuador's Pan-American Highway. It follows the arrest of top indigenous leader Leonidas Issa, who spearheaded a nationwide protest movement against the high cost of living in the country. As head of the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador, the 39-year-old was detained in the town of Pastocal. There, like in nine other provinces, demonstrators on Monday had set up barricades and blocked roads as anger boiled over soaring petrol prices. Closures were also reported in the Amazon, where much oil and mining infrastructure is located. Because of the increase in petrol prices, everything we have becomes more expensive. Food supplies, transport fares, and that's why our country is where it is today. Issa's organization, CONAI, confirmed and denounced his arrest. But Ecuador's president, Guillermo Lasso, responded saying no one was above the law and that he would not allow protests to affect economic recovery while punishing any further vandalism. The arrest of the intellectual and physical agents behind these violent acts has begun. It is now up to the public prosecutor's office and the judiciary to act. Leonidas Issa could meanwhile now face up to 10 years in prison if convicted for the crime of sabotage for which he has been charged. In response, Konai has now called for a so-called radicalization of more demonstrations to follow.